Hello everyone, it's Phil Jones and I am at the Hisense booth with Mark. Mark, how are you? Good man, how are you? This Thanks. booth Thanks. is gigantic. It is pretty huge, right? Yeah, each year you get bigger and bigger and bigger. This is probably one of the biggest booths at the show this year. I heard we either are number one or number two in the size wise, let's put yeah. it that way. It's amazing. You guys are like the Borg in Star Trek. You just keep eating up <laughs> eating up space at the, at the on the trade show floor. One thing I like about the booth is is the the amount of space dedicated to projection or lifestyle-based projection. Right. So you guys are a leader when it comes to traditional flat panel television sets, but you're also taking a lead in showing customers how you can utilize projection in your home. Right. So so let's talk about some of the notable products that you have um, in the booth, starting with some of your new ultra short throw offerings. What are you so, showing? So we have a brand show? new PS4 Pro. Mm -hmm. uh, those are coming out later in the year. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, that's brand new. Our anticipation is sometime in Q2. It's going to be mm -hmm. ready for sale. Mm -hmm. uh, what's really makes that cool is that now it has a dynamic iris, mm -hmm. which we never had before. That's so we're awesome. going to have that in the PS4 Pro. Uh, we improved the brightness. Mm -hmm. you know, went from uh, 3,000 to the PX3 mm -hmm. to 3,500. But it's also the first ultra short throw projector with VRR FreeSync. One, one millisecond response, you know, response was super fast. And cosmetically, it looks like a baby L9 now. You know, the Cosmetics L9, we got a lot of good feedback, mm -hmm. but it's smaller and the color's different because it's a cinema product. Yeah, no so, so instead sooner. of gold, it's silver. Right. And I will tell you that, you know, the PX3 Pro has been a, an amazing um, projector. It won tons of awards on our site. It, it was the top projector at the Projector Showdown in 2020 and it was also one of the top projectors in 2025. And the fact that the new model is even better is, is great. Yeah. Um, uh, what are some other things? I know you had mentioned... Oh, we have um, another one. We can take a look over there. Oh, you can oh. shoot it later. We, it, yeah. it's, a, it's something for the back after the year. Mm -hmm. uh, we haven't come up with a model number yet, but mm -hmm. we will be the first to market mm -hmm. with a 4K 120 hertz projector. You got it. I was just at TI and, and you guys are utilizing the latest uh, DMDs with the latest controllers right. with high sense processing which is allowing you to uh, to get into those speeds. Basically you're going to have one of the first projectors that's you know 4K 120 VRR, right. super low um, input Latency. lag, yeah. Yeah. Um, higher contrast, higher brightness, and even more compact chassis. Yeah, it's pretty exciting. It's really exciting here. Really exactly. Exciting. Now, of course, you also are highlighting um, one of the, the basically the biggest and the baddest um, laser TV on the market, and that's the L9Q. So what makes that projector so special? Well, the L9Q? Yeah, this is, it's also been winning awards at your site. We just won the showdown with that mm -hmm. product. Mm -hmm. It has a, one of the latest DMDs and controllers inside of that with mm -hmm. our great processing. Mm -hmm. um, it's super bright, high contrast. Mm -hmm. but, but it's not the latest and greatest. The latest and greatest is it's right, back, there. right there. <laughs> well, when it comes to ultra <laughs> short throw projectors, laser, right? yeah, so you're going to build something, you're going to build the very best. Right. And then you got into lifestyle based projectors, which are things like the, the C2 Ultras, the M2 Pro. Pro. Right. All of those I have absolutely loved. Right. But when I saw the press release on this guy, um, the XR10. Yes. I was blown away with the specs. I was like, no way yeah, is yeah. it going to have all that yeah, stuff. Six. So let's talk about this unit. Well, look at the size of the lens in this bad boy. It's, it's huge. huge. <laughs> it's, it's 17 glass element system inside that product. It's mm -hmm. unbelievable, all glass. We control heat really differently in that product. We want to keep it as quiet as possible. Mm -hmm. So we, we're using micro channeling cooling inside of it. So mm -hmm. it's a sealed system, mm -hmm. kind of like the, you know, the coolant in your car. Uh -huh. Sealed. Yeah. So you know, there's no maintenance to it, but it's going to okay. bring down the temperature because heat and electronics are not good, mm -hmm. right? 6,000 ANSI lumens, 6,001 6, native contrast, mm -hmm. which is awesome. It's going to have a dynamic iris, iris. obviously. Mm -hmm. so, now, yeah, because I was looking at it, I was like, wow, huge amount of vertical and horizontal lens shift, yes. huge amount of zoom. Um, like you said, 6,000 to 1 um, anti uh, lumens, massive amount of uh, native contrast. Yeah. Um, the other thing too, like you mentioned that, the the thermal cooling that you're using cannot be... Um, There's no maintenance. It's, it's amazing. Sealed. Well, besides that, the box can be smaller. Right. So the amount, the, uh, to try to do that much brightness and that much capability, utilizing a, a traditional fan cool or um, system, the it, the whole the whole chassis would be Huge. so much bigger than what that actually right. is. Right, and you know even even our focusing system, we're using a quad camera focusing system in mm -hmm. the front, so our time of flight, so it's very fast, right? Mm -hmm. So when you set it up, we're trying to make your life easier. We, this, we don't want this to be a laborious process setting mm -hmm. up your projector, mm -hmm. so it, it can obviously auto focus, auto piece now. Mm -hmm. 
auto color adjustment, mm -hmm. auto screen fit uh -huh. within seconds. So it has all this stuff that you would normally expect in a in a high performance Hisense lifestyle based projector. Right. It has smarts and it has oh yeah, it, it has Zarvita home system, which is yeah, brand yeah. new for us. Also. Exactly, um, sound speaker system built in. Yeah, all that kind of VLA. Yeah, but. This is more of a shout across the bow for the yes. more for the higher end models yes, that are the out other there. Three, the other three companies, the, the big are guys, you the know who those big guys are, right? That have pretty much dominated the, the home cinema right. type and thing. And I'm going to drop it out now. And it's also directly behind you. We're getting into the commercial space also now too. Exactly. So we have our golf simulator over there. We partnered up with uh, Golf Joy, I believe they're called. Mm -hmm. And you can see one of our projectors over there. It's a triple laser yes. product, not single laser. We're going to be providing them. Later next year, or not next year, it is this year. Uh -huh. um, trip single and triple laser B2B. Uh, and projectors. what's the brightness on that guy? That one right now is currently in t uh, 10,000. 10,000 10, 10, ANSI lumen. 10,000 ANSI lumen tri laser, laser business space projector right. that can be utilized for right. golf simulations. Right. And the picture over there, when you look at the golf yeah, simulation, it's pretty impressive. It's, it's pretty impressive. <laughs> and like I said, walking around looking at the VR10 right. is really, this thing's blown me away. Because I've told you, I've always liked your stuff, right? Right. Um, I even liked your, your um, the lifestyle projector. The problem is in my room, because my my projectors not sit exactly in front of my screen, I needed a decent amount of zoom and horizontal vertical wind shift. And I'm looking at the yeah, form factor on here and its cool. performance, and I'm like, that's for me, for my media room, for um, that because of the brightness, the color capability, and even the compact size. That is like the ultimate projector for my personal application. Yeah, yeah. well, the vertical lens just 130, 130, yeah. and then yeah, uh, and the horizontal is uh, 46. Exactly, yeah, and two times, and at least two times optical. Yeah, which it's is, a 0.84 to 2.0. 2 yeah, it's it's it's, it's, a, it's an amazing, amazing, amazing projector. So between the L9Q being the 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 biggest, baddest ultra short throw, this is now I wouldn't even want to call it a lifestyle projector. Now it is your first entry into true like high performance home cinema, cinema right. um, models and then of course you have the px4 pro which is going to be an absolute uh, i think it's going to be a beast exactly and of, of course all of these other ones like i reviewed the the um the c2 ultra i was incredibly impressed even a little m2 pro the little portable it has all of your technologies but it's just designed to be moved around right with the um, little handle well, right comes with it. A handle. it comes with a case yes it does so so i am incredibly impressed with the with the um, the products that you guys have introduced, to I have I have an M2 Pro in my house right now. I just just playing with it every day. It's just a blast. Exactly. You know, it's it, and you just put it on any wall. And you know, it's one of these products. And obviously, you are. You're very yeah. critical about your your video. But this is not about being criti critical on the M2 Pro. It's just a fun product. Just oh, yeah. enjoy it. Yeah. What I use it for is I have it next to my bed, and then I fire it at the ceiling, and I have a pair of um, bone conducting Bluetooth headphones. Right. So now I can kick back, my wife can be reading in bed and I can be watching Sports Center on the ceiling <laughs> and I can be listening to my bone canceling. She can't even hear it. But if she asks me a question I can actually answer. Yeah. So so it's just it's just some of the applications that you oh, yeah. can use. I use mine in my garage for either for football games, the nice two hundred image in my wall in my garage, or I sync it up with our, our party box over there and we play video games outside. Nice. Anyways, it's a black That's my grandson awesome. comes over and he wants to play with that. That's pretty awesome. You know what, um, Mark? We were. I was about to leave, and I realized that we needed to talk about one more pro, one more projector that really stood out. What the tiny one? The tiny one. <laughs> so, what do you have back here behind me? So, we do have the tiny one right behind us. It's uh, we're we brought it to the show for feedback. So, we didn't know for sure if we're going to bring it to the market, but it is a lot smaller. And mm -hmm. also, use the brand new TI chip. Mm -hmm. it don't go to a 0.39 chip. It is still 4K, mm -hmm. but look at the picture. It's pretty insane, and it's wicked. Wicked small. <laughs> yeah, I went over to TI, and, they t and uh, if you want to check out that video, it's actually on our site as well, where they go through and they show that chip. And the benefit of it is the, the ability to have 4K in an even smaller chassis. Because yeah, depending on the size of the chip, um, you have to build the optics around that, which makes the box bigger. Right. So now you end up with a box that, like this one here, is smaller than most of the compact portable ultra short throws, but you're looking right. at 4K at 2600 lumens right. and something that's almost small enough to fit in your backpack. Oh, no, that's small to fit in your backpack. I guess it is small enough to fit in your backpack. <laughs> yeah, so this is another example of, of really cool 
um, um, high sense, right. um, kind of pushing the envelope. Yeah, and and so. we, you know, we're soliciting feedback basically to show, and so mm -hmm. far the feedback's been awesome. Oh yeah, I can think of a lot of applications where people would actually want to like want a product. Like this. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Good at. So, uh, if I want to learn more about these new models, where should I go? Oh, HighSense.com. Okay, and. You better give me my X10 as quickly as possible. <laughs> yeah, and absolutely. I promise I might give it back. <laughs> well, you don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so take care, everyone, and we'll talk to you soon.